In this video, I show you the Zectonium Prison Mines Kickstarter that's going on right now. But before we get into today's video, I want to give a quick shout out to all of my Patreon supporters. You are all so awesome for supporting my channel. Thank you so much. And Bob made his picks from this last month, May of 2023. Cosmonaut won the $50 Terrainify credit. James N. and Carl P. both won a $25 credit towards LV-427. Catherine P. is receiving the printed and painted Tradefell Tower. Michael G. is receiving the pre-painted Madness Box from Tanaris Adventures. AJ Gwynn is receiving the pre-painted Dragons Box from Tanaris Adventures. And Colin G is receiving $100 that he can use either towards Aeon Trespass Odyssey or Apex Legends Kickstarter. And for this month of June of 2023, we are going to have a lot of other GGGGs, starting off with two all-in pledges for Zectonium Prison Mines. And again, with two $25 credits for LV427, this is the last month that that promo is going to be going on. As well, use my channel coupon to get 20% off your first order from them. There's going to be a number of other gratitude gifts that are going to be up for this month. Go ahead and use the link below to go to my Patreon page to see the full list as that list will continue to grow as the month goes along. You can also support my channel just by hitting that like button and by subscribing or using the link below to go to my merch store and buying some of this cool merch. So if you have seen any of my other videos, I love Saucerman Studios sci-fi terrain. I have done a couple of preview videos for their Kickstarters and I have painted up this set so that it can match up with all of my other flatline city terrain. If you want to see a painting tutorial, go ahead and check out this one and it will show you how I create this sort of rusted and worn uh, look to the sci-fi terrain, which is my favorite because not only does it look good, but it is really quick to paint a lot of terrain using this technique. Also, I am going to be walking through the Kickstarter campaign so that you can see all of the different things that are unlocking as the campaign is successful. And it's going to be going on until June 22nd. So use the link below to go to the Kickstarter page if you're interested in looking more or signing up. Now, one of the things that is unique about this set this time is that this is completely modular. So for example, not only are these different roofs that you can put on, but each one of these sections you can remove um, based off of these corner pieces so that the walls and these connectors are interchangeable. So there is a lot of variability with even the pieces that you have printed out. Now for the sake of time, I didn't paint the interiors of any of these because I wanted to get this video out in time before the campaign ended. But there is a ton of creativity and more versatility in sort of what you you want your wall layout to be as well as these different corners that are available. There are a bunch of different tops that you can get and they all sort of connect with these little nibs that fit in on top of either flat roofs or as you can see a decorative one like this. I also like the fact that they have gang planks and gangway so that you have multi-level uh, fighting that you can have um, height advantages for your skirmish games if that is one of the features. And additionally, you can increase the size of these buildings, but the standard size that's seen here, obviously I stack some up uh, top like this. So a ton of different configurations that you can make. Personally, I'm going to be using this for the upcoming Shatterpoint Star Wars uh, game box that is going to be coming out very soon and again stay tuned because I will probably provide a how to paint tutorial for all of those Star Wars figures but this terrain is going to work really well with any of your futuristic or sci-fi skirmish games whether it be Warhammer 40k, Kill Team, Planet 28, Stargrave, any of those games this is going to be fantastic and if you did back some of the other previous Kickstarters that Saucerman Studios came out with, this integrates really well with all of those too. But at the same time, I feel like it is giving you a little bit stylistic difference. So you can, if you wanted to, just make it a completely different set. Sort of has that mine feel. Uh, for example, this whole gear that is mining the ground. 
you can print out a couple of these and it, it just creates that sense that this is a working uh, mine, also a prison. It can be a prison center too. So just thematically, it's different enough, but also similar so that you can tie it all in with previous Kickstarters. So let's go ahead and go over to the computer where I can walk you through the campaign. All right, so here we have the Kickstarter page, Zectonium Prison Mines. 23 days left to go as time of filming, and they've already raised close to $14,000, so this definitely will be uh, delivering. And here we have the different pledge levels, and basically, um, it's very simple, an all-in pledge is about $52 US, and then for the commercial license is $269. They did have some early birds, but all of those are gone. Here we see um, just a render of what the board can look like with all the different pieces. And the ones that I printed out is only a very small sampling of all the different ones that have unlocked and are gonna be made available as you can see here. So I always love just the vast number of files that you're gonna be getting from Saucerman Studios. And here you see you can create sort of rooms or the inside of a ship or something like that. Now I did measure this out. This doesn't have the same measurements as kill team boarding actions. So you can't really use these walls. Now you can blow them up to fit the size, but as is, it won't fit um, the same board pieces as kill team. Here is an example of actually printed out and painted pieces that Saucerman Studios made. And this is a 3D render of the prison compound. And like I sh showed in my video, it's just super modular where you have these corner pieces and you can put in all the different walls that you want. You can flip the walls around to increase all the variability even more so. You have all these different platforms and walkways, which I really like with my skirmish games. So a massive amount of variability because of that. And then you can actually have even larger rooms and walls. You have these hatches that you can put in there. Here's a core set. You're gonna get all of these different kinds of walls. You actually have some stairs that you can put up. And then you have sort of the double wide walls so that you can make the uh, rooms twice as big. Here are the different roofs, platforms, walkways, all the different corners that you can make, the toppers that you can put on top for increased variability. And then if you wanted to print in resin, again, I print everything in um, FDM, but you can use your resin printer if you want to go the extra mile in terms of details. Here's opportunities to get add-ons if you missed out from previous uh, campaigns. I have both of these and have videos of actually all three of these. So if you didn't have a chance, you can add those on. But honestly, um, you're gonna get enough files where you have plenty. There is a beam down. Again, this is their customizing uh, software. I also made a video about that if you wanna check that out. And this is a free model. So if you wanted to try printing one out and see what it looks like, you can go ahead and grab that right now. Try that out. And then here are just some close-ups of their paints. And then just um, a bunch of stretch goals have already been unlocked. You have half height walls here, mine carts, containers, platforms, power gen systems, these grinding pits, these uncovered alien ruins, chimney stacks, blast craters, a mining tech. Check this out, a heavy hauler. The bucket wheel, which I showed you, that's already been unlocked. This gantry crane has been unlocked. Air purifier, ventilation fans, a bunch of miniature, sci-fi miniature bases if you wanted to or needed that. You have objective markers that have been unlocked prison complex and then here are the ones that are currently locked 
you have this orbital container ship you have a transport ship alien mining tech storage tanks you have these natural mineral resources rock so a bunch of stuff um, I printed this satellite out and that's pretty much it it is supposed to deliver let's see here in July so typically after Kickstarter Sussman Studios already has all of these rendered as STL files and delivers them relatively quickly so in about a month they will be available for you so there you have it now I did print everything out in 0.2 millimeter height which is my standard for all of my terrain I found that to be the sweet spot in having enough detail but fast enough in printing so that you're not spending forever with your prints I did have a, a couple of failures where I had tried using a brim um, but it was particular to this uh, corner that didn't have a lot of surface area at the bottom and so I just increased that and modded that with a Microsoft 3D Builder and just increased the surface area and that enabled a full print without failing. Otherwise there was no supports that I had to provide. Everything else printed really well, didn't require any brims either. So this was the only corner piece that I had any trouble with. But as you can see, just looks really good, turned out really well. And if you're interested, use the link to go to their Kickstarter page. Also, don't forget, two of my Patreon supporters will be receiving this uh, all-in pledge at the end of this month when Bob makes his draw. So make sure you sign up for that if you are interested. And also check out the list as well as we're going to be adding more items onto the GGGG list. Otherwise, happy printing, happy gaming. We'll see you next time.